Are you ready to be ever so slightly unsettled? Are you ready to look at pictures that various world governments aren't exactly thrilled to have you seeing? Are you ready to talk about Trump more than once? Well, great, because I'm Adam Andrews with Most Amazing, and today we are going to break down the top 10 unsettling pictures that were withheld by the government for your own protection. But before we do that, let me know in the comments, what is your most unexplainable unsettling encounter in your life? Before we get on with this list, you know what else can be unsettling? A bad skincare routine. Look. I'm a guy, a guy with bad skin. Learning how to take care of this sweet visage has been a learning process, and that's why I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor for today's video. While I would normally have to figure this skin thing out on my own, Tiege Hanley have helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process simply uncomplicated. It's the best skincare system for guys like you or your significant other and me. I personally started with their level one system, which comes with all the basic things you you need. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, a two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells, a moisturizer with SPF 20 to keep your skin protected from the harsh rays of the sun, and a nighttime moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. Now those are all the things you really need to start your journey to better skin, but the best part about Tej Hanley is that every box comes with a little instruction card that tells you when, how, and in what order you should use each product for best results. Truly, making the process of achieving and maintaining amazing skin super easy. Look, I can talk about this company all day, but I don't have to because they have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the globe. In addition to amazing skin, though, members of Tej Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, the ability to pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping and low cost shipping to most other countries. Because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you lovely people a great deal. Just click on the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. And now, coming in at number 10, UFOs. Do you guys remember in April of 2020 when the Pentagon released UFO videos? The videos, captured by naval aviators, show objects flying through the sky, one rotating against the wind, and the pilots can be heard just being completely flabbergasted. When they first appeared online, they breathed new life into the decades-long conversation about whether interstellar visitors had ever come to Earth, and extraterrestrial enthusiasts were more than a little excited about the whole thing. While the Pentagon has said that there are usually some more closer to home explanations for most occurrences like these, the Pentagon has never made any assertion about what exactly is going on in the videos. Recorded in 2004 and early 2015 over the Pacific and off the East Coast, they simply say that the phenomenon is unexplainable. I'm going to go ahead and say that there's nothing that proves these are aliens and that's why these particular videos were released in the first place. I'm sure they've got more substantial evidence of aliens hiding somewhere. Number 9. Tank Man The Tiananmen Square protests were student-led demonstrations in 1989 calling for democracy, free speech, and a free press in China. The amount of protesters began reaching into the millions, and when martial law had not deterred them, the government became much more hostile. On June 4th, military personnel and police began to storm the square using live rounds, with hundreds of thousands of casualties and 10,000 arrests. A man on June 5th, though, was photographed standing alone against and on top of a massive tank in the infamous square, and that image has circulated around the world. But it's likely that many people in China itself haven't seen much of it. That's because every year on the anniversary of the massacre, the Chinese government puts a massive amount of effort into making sure that there is not even a mention of it in the media or on the internet, as if the government would prefer to just erase it from history altogether. Number 8. X-37 Space Plane Once upon a time, one of the most secret 
conservative advanced US experimental aircraft, the X 37B space plane, landed at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and the government did not want many pictures taken. The funny thing is that there are actually a lot of pictures of this event and of the craft itself, but what it's being used for or what its missions have been is the part that no one really knows. The autonomously piloted aircraft had just spent two years in our Earth's orbit on a highly classified mission. The craft looks like a miniature space shuttle and it is launched into orbit using a secondary vehicle. It has had a few missions that prove that it is useful as a reusable space vehicle, which is the whole thing, but we don't know exactly what its purpose is or what technology it contains. Okay, number seven, Pine Gap. A video like this would not be a video like this if it didn't include a secret intelligence facility. Places like Joint Defense Facility Pine Gap as an example. A US and Australian satellite surveillance base 18 kilometers southwest of the town of Alice Springs, Northern Territory, Australia. This base is a crucial facility for the United States monitoring of Asia and they make very sure that basically no images of the site get out there. Obviously there are images and there's also a TV show that is set in the facility, but obviously the show speculates about the actual goings on because there are no photos that make it out of the facility for fear of having the technological capabilities of the surveillance base leaked to enemy powers. Even its location in the smack dab middle of Australia makes it too remote for spy ships passing in international waters to intercept the signals. While you can know what it looks like, people like you and me are very unlikely to ever know what it looks like on the inside. Number six, AOI. Anagrio base. I have got another military base for you here. Google Earth is a wondrous thing. You can find just the silliest stuff on there, you can check out your child at home, and you can see landmarks from across the globe from the safety and comfort of your home. But one thing you can't do is take a look at the Greek Aoi Anagroi military base in central Athens. While other military bases are actually visible on Google Earth, the Greek government went an extra length by having any Google Earth images of this base blurred out. It's kind of strange to me because if you look at the images of the base, almost every single building is still visible, but obviously you can't see exactly what those buildings are used for and maybe that's the point, because the base's operational capacity is also a tightly guarded secret. It's apparently supposed to be a training facility, but others have speculated that it's where Greek military command is situated. Number 5. Iranian Missile Failure Back in 2019, an Iranian missile test launch went incredibly wrong, destroying the facility where the launch took place. Enjoying the failure a bit more than you might suspect. President Trump shared a satellite surveillance image of the site on Twitter. An incredibly sharp satellite image and that was the problem. Satellites are the best way to spy on other countries and so the capabilities of those satellites are kept incredibly secret to avoid other countries developing countermeasures for this form of espionage. For example, using the photo shared by Trump, an astronomer was able to locate exactly which satellite was watching Iran when the test launch went downhill. USA 224, an optical reconnaissance satellite had the capability to take a clear enough photo to determine things that are 10 centimeters wide, meaning the photo itself showed that the satellite was one of the most powerful known surveillance systems ever made. Number four, nuclear power plants. Back in 2016, pictures taken inside some of the USA's nuclear power plants were more than a little unsettling. As most of us know, nuclear power, while relatively clean and efficient, has the potential to be a huge problem when not handled correctly, like huge as in planet sized. The incident at the Chernobyl power plant, for example, eventually spread radiation over the entire globe thanks to the way that air works. So when the 2016 pictures were released and showed some American power plants in completely awful states of disrepair, it was more than a little worrying. The pictures were shared in an effort by workers to try and get the facilities brought back up to code. But the worst part about this is that the pictures taken at a later date show some of the plants in the exact same state they were in in 2016. Unfortunately, more photos are very very unlikely to be seen as the government has made a point of being more thorough in choosing who and who can't get in. Number three, North Korea. I could probably fill this whole list with pictures from North Korea. Most people are aware of the fact that North Korea is under one of the strictest regimes in the world. Visitors to the country are escorted everywhere they go and that's usually only to pre-vetted locations. Most trips try their best to avoid any areas of poverty and there are some really weird rules about pictures. Like for example, it's okay to 
take pictures of statues of Kim, but not okay to take pictures of the statues from the rear. It's odd, but despite the regime's best efforts to limit documentation and pictures being leaked, a few have made it out thanks to crafty photographers. Looking through an album posted online, there are pictures of crowds of soldiers, pictures of kids on computers but with no electricity, soldiers helping on farms, people collecting grass for food, kids playing on almost empty streets, a subway tunnel, and an unfinished painting. And every single one of those photos are illegal. And they aren't the worst of the bunch by any stretch of the imagination. Unfortunately, the photographer who took them has been banned from returning to North Korea once they realized that these pictures had made it onto the internet. Number two, Mexican asylum plan. During a press conference in June of 2019, Trump was speaking about a deal struck with the Mexican government that would avoid extra tariffs in order to make managing immigrants easier. It's by no means the biggest of security fumbles, but during the conference, Trump was waving around the folded and signed agreement just to show that it was indeed in the works. Now, the problem came thanks to the sun. You see, it was a real sunny day in June 2019 when this conference was held, and so it illuminated through the paper and all the words of the confidential in the works agreement were visible for all to see, especially a photographer with a particularly high resolution camera. With the photo he captured, every single word in the document was visible and readable. It's not like this document would affect many people or anything. I guess the unsettling part is more the fact that this even happened in the first place. Number one, the Xinjiang internment camps. Heading back to both China and Google Maps for our number one spot is the Xinjiang internment camps. Operated by the government and the Chinese Communist Party Provincial Standing Committee, Human Rights Watch say that these camps are and have been used to indoctrinate and other Muslims since 2017. And the camps have been criticized by the governments of many countries and human rights organizations for alleged human rights violations. The camps are reportedly operated outside the Chinese legal system, with many people being interred without a trial and with no actual charges. Local authorities are reportedly holding hundreds of thousands of in these camps as well as members of other ethnic minority groups in China in order to apparently counter extremism and to quote, promote social integration. With all that, it's not really surprising that the area of the internment camps has been partly replaced with plain light gray tiles on Baidu maps and completely blurred in Google Maps and many countries have stood in opposition to the rounding up of at these camps. All right, that's all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all on the Flippy Flop. Peace out.